Hi and welcome to a new video. Getting ready to deliver a pre-recorded presentation or simply sharing your screen with others on your Windows PC? Are you curious about the methods available for capturing your computer screen without any cost? In this video, I will show you how to record your screen on Windows PC for free. Let's go. There are two well-known ways to record your Windows screen for free. First, you can use the built-in Windows utility Snipping Tool. Although it was originally designed to take screenshots of your screen, it now also has a recording function. Note that this is only available for Windows 11 users. If this doesn't work for you, you can try the next tool I recommend instead. To ensure that the recording feature works properly, see to it that your Snipping Tool is updated. Open the Microsoft Store and sign into your Microsoft account if you haven't done so yet. Then navigate to the Library option in the lower left corner of the screen. Locate the Snipping Tool in the list of apps and click the Update button if it's available. Unlike taking a screenshot, which you can easily do with the combination of Windows, Shift, and S keys, the recording feature has no keyboard shortcut. To get started, launch Snipping Tool. On the toolbar, move to the Record button and click New. Then drag the Selection tool to highlight the specific portion of the screen you want to capture. Once you press the Start button, recording will begin after the default 3-second countdown. When you're done recording, simply click the Stop button to bring up the preview screen where you can play the actual video and save it to your preferred folder. Note that this tool does not capture audio input, and you may get an error if you select your entire screen for recording. In case the first tool doesn't work for you, you can try another built-in Windows tool called the Xbox Game Bar. While this app is primarily used for gaming and accessing game-related widgets, it also includes a screen capture and recording feature. You can search for Xbox Game Bar in your list of apps or simply press the keyboard shortcut Windows plus G for easy access. To start recording, click the Capture button on the Xbox toolbar. Here, you can enable the Microphone button to capture audio input. Then, click the Record button when you're ready to start your screencast. While recording, you can navigate between tabs and record the entire screen with ease. Keep in mind, though, that recording is not available for Windows Explorer and desktop views. Once you have recorded enough, click the Stop button to save it to your local directory. To locate the output video, open Windows Explorer, go to Videos, and choose the Capture folder. For those who need more features while recording screens, I recommend Movavi Video Suite an all-in-one software that combines several features including video editing, conversion, compression, recording, and more. This is available for both Windows and Mac. To download Video Suite for free, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below for your reference. If you want to change the website language, click the Globe button in the upper right corner and choose one. Although Movavi Video Suite is generally a paid software, there is a 7-day free trial version so you can get a feel of how it works before paying for anything. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software on your computer. Once installed, launch the Record Computer Screen sub-program to start recording. The Movavi Screen Recorder's control panel appears as a pop-up sidebar menu on the right side of your window screen. It is also added to your system tray for easy access. For first-time setup, click the Settings icon in the control panel to modify the recording configurations to your liking. Under the General tab, click each checkbox to enable the configuration described by its label, such as disabling the default countdown or hiding the recording panel. Set your preferred destination folder when saving your recording in the Files menu. Go to the Video tab if you want to adjust your output's frame rate. To show cursor and keystroke activity in your recording, you can enable it in the Effects tab. You can also limit your recording duration and set a specific time range in the Scheduler configuration. 
Finally, click the OK button to save your changes. Once everything is set, click the Video Camera button to launch the recording screen. Then, drag the cursor to resize and capture a specific frame of your window screen. Or click the spacebar on your keyboard to record the entire screen. After setting up your recording screen, there are additional features you can enable before your actual screencast. The horizontal toolbar at the bottom right of your screen allows you to turn on your webcam, microphone, and system audio. If your microphone is on, you can also click the gear icon and enable noise reduction for cleaner audio. While on the vertical toolbar, you can enable the keystroke feature, which allows you to record all keyboard activity or simply capture the shortcut keys you may press. You can also include additional mouse cursor effects if you prefer. When everything is ready, click the record button to finally start recording your screen. Please note that if you're using the free trial version, you can only record your screen for 7 minutes, and the output video will have a watermark. While recording, you can also click the pencil button on the horizontal toolbar to doodle or add shapes to highlight areas of your screen for your viewers. If you're done recording, just click the stop button on the toolbar or go to the system tray. Right-click the Movavi icon and select stop recording. A separate window for your screencast will automatically open. Here you can create some necessary edits such as making a cut, capturing a specific frame, or advanced editing using the Movavi Video Editor. If you want to save it immediately, click the Export button. Then rename the file, modify the destination folder, change the format, or adjust the quality to your liking. Once you're done, click the Save button to start the export. When the file is exported, click the Show in Folder button to view the video directly where you saved it. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!